I'm, I wasn't afraid of the plane crashing. That didn't, yeah. that was not me. I and was like afraid. People talk about turbulence. I'm not, like, that doesn't you know, bother me. Not just, that's not, not me. to say that if I get on the plane and the plane starts having, that I won't freak out, but I'm not, I don't, I don't care about the turbulence. I don't care no. about because if the plane's going to go down, it's going to go down. There's nothing I can do about it. But right, being trapped like yeah, makes see, me but, feel like I can't breathe. Yeah. So here, here's the thing. You, but you, if you go, go back, ahead. if you go back, two hundred billion years ago, before humans, before mammals, back when there was only reptiles and fish and birds, um, the most advanced creatures were probably you know creature like Tyrannosaurus rex, huge creatures, has a, had a brain about the size of a German shepherd, not very much brain power, but it had the amygdala. The amygdala, that's the part of the brain that releases stress hormones. So since this creature, Tyrannosaurus couldn't really think, didn't have enough brain power to think, how did he protect himself? The amygdala monitors what's going on around him and if everything changes, I'm sorry, if everything stays the same, the amygdala doesn't do anything. But if there's anything that happens that it's not used to, anything changes, it releases stress hormones and it causes the urge to run and it just runs away. Now, the problem is we inherited that. And now when mammals came on the scene, it was a little bit more sophistication because when the amygdala fires off and says, let's get the hell out of here, the thinking part of the brain says, no, let me see if I really need to. And so you have this tug of war between your amygdala saying, get the hell out of here. And your thinking part of the brain says, look, I don't think we really need to. For example, here I am at the mall, <laughs> you know, I, I, I know I should be okay, but so why am I having this feeling I've got to leave? Well, the amygdala is firing off about something. It's picking up something that it's not used to. So what we have to do is to bring in what's called the parasympathetic nervous system because that system can override anything the amygdala can do and that what we didn't know until you know i stumbled on the fact that wedding vows and getting engaged would override it but when stephen porges discovered that it's simpler than that anytime you're with a person who is physically safe to be with and emotionally safe to be with, they're sending you signals that will override the stress hormones if you build it in. 